Hi, I'm Thane Phelan from the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Showcase Yakima. Now today we're going to take you inside a school here in the valley that gives our kids a distinct advantage. And that's this place right here, YV Tech. We're going to go inside YV Tech and show you what they offer to the students of the valley on this edition of Showcase Yakima. Showcase Yakima, a partnership of KYVE 47 and the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Underwritten by Treetop. And by the Yakima Herald Republic. And by Thorner, Kennedy, and Gano. And by Central Valley Bank. Well, welcome. We're inside now here at YV Tech, and we've got the uh, the director, Craig Dwight. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again, Craig. I know you, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I, I've never really had a chance to go through YV Tech, and that's what we wanted to, to do today, and introduce to people exactly what you do here and what a great program this is for our local uh, education and the kids in the community. Mm -hmm. So tell, tell me a little bit about YV Tech, how it got started, and, and uh, what your mission is. Well, YV Tech was here, started in 1977. Mm -hmm. It started with three programs. We now have 23 programs. Well, that's and we good growth. Yeah, we stretch from the top of White Pass, to Ellensburg to Prosser. Mm -hmm. So if you took a 35 mile radius from this point, mm -hmm. we encompass every school. Okay. So we're serving 17 different high schools. Um, they give up the high school students give up half of their day to come here. So they'll take three periods at their high school, and then they'll take three periods here. Okay. So it's only for juniors and seniors, mm -hmm. and we also offer classes for community college students. Mm -hmm. um, we are articulated, which means we are connected to a lot of the local colleges, Perry Tech, YVC, Columbia Basin, Walla Walla. So what you do here can translate into credits at those schools? All of our kids, all of our programs have college credits attached. Mm -hmm. So a, a student who comes here can earn college credits, but they have to get a B or better. Um, so they have to prove to the college that they have uh, above average, average skills when they come through here. Okay. Um, several, what we do also is that um, all of our programs are high demand. There has to be a market for them. Mm -hmm. So when a kid gets out of here, he's either going on to college, uh, community college, or university, where there's going to be a job when he's done. Mm -hmm. So we have several types of advisory boards that make sure that our kids are trained well and that they're employable when they're done or that they have the skills to go on and, and get the next piece of paper, their next degree. Now in the last couple of years, uh, YV Tech's kind of expanded and grown and you're at the new facility. Tell us a little bit about the, you know, what it took to get this new facility going. Okay, and today you're going to see basically 41,000 square feet of phase one. Mm -hmm. Last year, in the, the last few minutes, our local legislators got us the, the funding for phase two, about $25 million mm -hmm. to finish this building. When this is all said and done, it'll be 101,000 square feet, and it'll have everything from automotive, auto body, auto, auto technology parts, um, for uh, health occupations from medical assisting, uh, physical therapy, nursing, dental assisting. Um, our manufacturing is huge right now. We're, we're growing that with our manufacturing and IT. Mm -hmm. um, IT and manufacturing are two of the highest demand in the state as well as highest paid in the state. So if so, you can get So that's a, something you really take into consideration on what you're going to teach here is, is how employable your students are going to be. Exactly. If you want to become a machinist or if you want to become a, an IT director, a programmer or a network administrator, something like that, this starts you in that, that profession. In, in our manufacturing program, our IT program right now, the, the study just came out, I was in Olympia yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was told that just in the aerospace in industry, not Boeing, but in all of the aerospace industry in the state of Washington, there's 84,000 jobs. And these are living wage, high, I mean, they're sixty to $100,000 a year jobs. And for the next 10 years, they're going to be hiring eight to 9,000 people in this field. And that's mm -hmm. uh, machining, metal fabrication, car polycarbonates, um, mechanics, welders. Mm -hmm. Uh, metal fabricators. And you guys do all that here, and as we'll see as we go through the program, you're going to kind of walk us through that uh, you do get uh, the students ready for pretty much all those phases of, yep. of, of the different uh, things that they want to go into. Yeah. And everything, every every occupation out there is tied to computers now. There's not a single one. You go out here to Ace Hardware, and they have GPS on the forklifts. Mm -hmm. So the forklifts know where to, what the quickest route is to pick up the pallet to put on the truck. Mm -hmm. And it even says you're going to go to truck 24. So everything is computer related. And so we have a big IT department and we want to recruit more um, 
women in, in those fields because there's a high demand for them as well. Um, as of last week, there were 10,000 health occupation openings just in the state of Washington. So any of our health occupations, last year we had 100 kids, uh, 90, we had 100 kids in our nursing program with about 97 kids receiving their NAC license. Mm -hmm. So, and if a kid wanted to work with that license, they can go to work. There's so much work out there, there's just not enough, not enough skilled people to take those jobs. And you have to have that license or certificate in order to work. Absolutely. So the um, programs that we're going to kind of look at here are at the facility, and then you, are you still running some of your out of your old facility at this time? Yes, we still have phase two is sixty thousand, uh -huh. a little over sixty thousand square feet, and we still have auto body auto tech at YBCs where we share students. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, our carpentry class is at the Carpenters Union Hall okay. where we get to share that facility. Uh, firefighting is split between here and the actual city of Yakima Fire Department. We have cosmetology in three locations. We have a branch campus down in Sunnyside. So this is really going on all over Yakima. Oh yeah, the yeah. entire Yakima County. We're supplying this education for everybody in Yakima County. Mm -hmm. And then how many students at a time are generally going through YV Tech? Right now we're just under 800. Oh, and that's quite a few, wow, that's yeah, a so, lot. Yeah, so we, we try to keep it at 800 and when we expand and everything done, we're hoping to have 1,200 students. Okay. All right, Craig, well, we learned a little bit about the school and its history. Uh, let's go take a look at some of your programs. Okay, and you're going to have the kids are going to talk to you. Okay. I don't like to talk a lot, and the kids right. kids will brag about their programs. All right, great. Let's go talk to them. Yes. Sir. Uh, Craig, uh, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. What what program is this? Well, the, this is a physical ther occupational therapy program. It's mm -hmm. the first program in the state of Washington mm -hmm. for this for high school kids. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, we take care of injuries. Okay. Um, it's one of the high demand fields in in the country mm -hmm. right now. The um, the 65 and older crowd is very active. And they're getting very hurt because mm -hmm. they're still riding bikes and skiing sure. and stuff like that. And so we found out that this industry is expanding very quickly and there's a great need for people to take care of people with injuries. Mm -hmm. And that's what this program is all about. Okay, so a program like this, what kind of, uh, I mean, how many students are you usually having in a program like this? We have 40 to 45 students. Uh -huh. And uh, then our instructor also is a college instructor and she runs uh, college classes, community college classes on the weekends in our mm -hmm. facility also. Okay, so the uh, a program like this, what are the kids getting ready to go work in? Uh, obviously hospitals? Um... Physical ther therapy. Okay sites and uh, physical therapy sites at nursing homes at the hospitals at um, out on the athletic fields mm -hmm. so athletic injuries um, any car injuries every every type of injury you can think of oh okay so it's pretty expanded uh, program that right. you have for something like this and these kids will go on and get their um, physical therapy assistant or become uh -huh. a physical therapist and right now, they've changed the laws a little bit, so to become a physical therapist, you have to have a doctorate degree now. Mm -hmm. So, and then to become a physical therapy assistant, you have to have a BA. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they've upped the level of education on this, and these mm -hmm. guys get anywhere, they get 31 college credits from this class alone. Oh, okay, well, so, and, and you're saying that like in this program, you, now you do have, you do offer a course for, for college age students, but most of the ones that are here during the week are high school students. Yes. So it's a great introduction into right. that field. And then they get to move on, and we have our articulations with several colleges in the, in the, in the state, so they can go on and uh -huh. they, they, they walk into any, most of these community colleges and some of the universities with a quarter to a semester already under their belt. Mm -hmm. and so, they, and okay. they already know anatomy, physiology, kinesiology right. before they walk in the door. So um, uh, when they're in a program like this, then is it... Uh, um, is it something that they, I mean, is it kind of working towards something else, or I mean, is it mainly they, they get out of a program like this and they are work ready? Uh, some, several of our kids have been hired. Uh -huh. So they work for a physical therapist here in town, mm -hmm. and they understand a lot of, a lot of things that have happened to, to repair injured, injured people from broken bones and torn muscles. Mm -hmm. And as we walk in, you'll get to see some of the different things that they're doing. Okay. Um, I go in there once in a while, I have arthritis, I go in there and they give me special heat treating for my arthritis. Okay, should we go in and take a look at some yeah, of the things they're doing? Let's go in and take a look. Okay. All right, we're here talking to one of the students, uh, Nikki. Hi, Hello. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, getting involved here at YV Tech. Um, I got involved because my sister actually did YV Tech when she was a senior, mm -hmm. and she did the dental program, but I was more interested in massage therapy. Mm -hmm. And when I heard that they had a physical therapy program, I didn't question it. I wanted to come in and learn because physical therapy also involves massage therapy. Mm -hmm. well, tell us a little bit about, so what are you learning here? What kinds of things are you doing? We learn about the body. Mm -hmm. um, we do the different systems, the skeletal, the muscles, 
Um, we learn about modalities, different, you know, paraffin, wax bath, mm -hmm. uh, ultrasound, and um, IFC. Oh, so you're learning stuff already because you already lost me. <laughs> so, yeah. well, tell us uh, then, uh, is that something you've always been interested in? And you know, I was more interested in childcare when mm -hmm. I was younger, but as I grow older, I kind of learned that medical field was one way to go, and there's mm -hmm. always going to be a place for it. Okay, and you're you are a student uh, officially where in Sela? Yes, in Sela. Yeah. Um, I also come here. I go to Sela for three periods, and then I come here for two and a half hours. Great program. You recommend it? Yes, I love it here. All they right. help me with leadership and pursue my dreams. Okay, well, great. Very nice to meet you. Thanks Thank for talking you. to us today. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of the most fun programs we have. It's the culinary arts. And what's happening in Yakima is with all the wineries is coming some quality food expositions. Mm -hmm. um, so these kids are learning how to actually be sous chefs and chefs. And once again, we have direct tie with the culinary art associations. And within the next year, we should have our sous chef um, certification. The kids will actually take a test to be sous chefs. Mm -hmm. But as you've noticed, there's um, more four-star restaurants coming in, four-star catering between the, the wineries and the new restaurants. This is a high demand field in this area. Yeah, no, and I see that they are actually all working, preparing things right now. What are, what are, what are they preparing and who are they preparing it for? Um, we have a lunch time here, uh -huh. so anyone can come in and buy lunch, but the kids are given different recipes and say, this is a type of fish recipe, mm -hmm. so you have to make something with fish. Or this is a beef recipe, or this is a chicken recipe, and they're given certain recipes, and then they have to actually prepare it, and then they have to taste it. Right. So, number one, they get to burn it, you know, which happens all the mm -hmm. time, but they have a good time. And the object is to come up with something in a timely fashion that tastes good. Mm -hmm. And then they learn how to do presentation and set up all kinds of uh, different um, different dishes. And then they, the presentation, how the d dishes look, is a big part of this. Oh, sure, yeah. And I imagine you're pretty well fed around here then. It's really terrible because <laughs> they all come in and say, you've got to taste this. And I always uh -huh. say, have you tried it? No, we don't like fish. Uh -huh. So they give me their, their fish and, right. and breads. But you'll notice there's... Uh, 40 cooking stations within this system. Uh -huh. So we could have 40 kids in here at one time all doing something separately. Oh, okay. And as we go through it, you'll see all the different uh, different stations and the kids working. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk to one of our, your students then? Okay, well, let me get Cindy and uh, she'll explain some of the things that are happening in the program. Oh, okay. Cindy? Hi, Cindy. Nice to meet you. Well, Cindy, tell us a little bit about the program here at YV Tech. So, have you always wanted to be a chef? Um, yes, I've always wanted to be one um, ever since I was younger. And I just came here just to learn more about it mm -hmm. and maybe to have more college opportunity here. Now, how did you find out about YV Tech? Was it through your high school? Yes, it was through my high school. Which, um, which high school is that? Um, Davis High School. Okay. And they told us about a more advanced culinary mm -hmm. um, classes from what they had. And they just signed us up here if we wanted to. Okay, so what what kind of things do you learn here? What what are you know? I mean, do you work with all kinds of foods and? Um yeah, you were you learn anywhere from the basics, from sanitary skills to basic knife skills, mm -hmm. and to different to working with different flavors. Okay, so what uh, what are your favorite things to cook? Um, I like cooking mostly like uh, meats and like preparing them with different flavors. Tell me a little bit like, do you have a favorite dish? What what's your what is Cindy's specialty? Um, so far. Probably my basic lasagna dish would oh, be my favorite. Oh, that sounds good. But adding different twists to them. Mm -hmm. How many, um, you know, you go to school with a lot of other students here. Is that uh, kind of interesting, too, to, to kind of be in here with the school, students from other school districts? Yeah, it's very different, but at the same time, it's pretty nice because it's different from different kids from different schools that come here. So if you're not all at the same school, you know. You mm -hmm. learn what other kids are doing as well as you. And then your education here, what do you what do you hope to do for the future? Um, I hope to go into college for um, culinary arts and food service management. Mm -hmm. And I've already signed up and got accepted. Well, very good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for taking a moment to talk to us. Cindy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. I got a couple of guys from the, uh, you guys are in the construction and carpentry program, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, nice to meet you. Well, Timothy. Timothy and uh, uh, Marcus. Marcus, nice to meet you guys. Tell us a little bit about your, how did you get involved here at YB Tech? Uh, where do you go, first of all, where do you go to school? Uh, I go to school at Eisenhower High School. Uh huh. And uh, he goes to Highland. Oh, okay. And I've been doing construction, you know, little part of carpentry here and there, mm -hmm. little uh, home projects, and, you know, just learn a few things here and there. And I heard YB Tech offers a carpentry right. program, so I got into that. 
It's going pretty well. Well, tell me a little bit about some of the projects now. I know you guys built some uh, some of the portables that are out behind the school here, right? Yeah, we actually built four portables oh, okay. for uh, some of the classes here. Like from every part of them you were you guys involved in, like foundation on up? Yeah, from the ground up, we built them, you know, we framed them, uh -huh. uh, set the forms, roofed them, whatever, the whole nine yards. All right, so... You as a high school student, I mean, just doing something like that, do you feel like, I mean, if it was up to you, you could you build something like that at this point? Uh, I feel confident that I could build something like that uh, with a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I do feel confident. Well, that's great. I mean, and, and that's just as a high school student. So what are you hoping to do with your education here in the future? Um, take this training into consideration and hopefully get into the union or, if not, you know, do some other kind of trade, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, in, in the construction field. Great. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks yeah, for talking thank to you. us. All right, so we're out here in the uh, shop now. We've got uh, Cody. Nice to meet you, Cody. Nice to meet you. All right. Cody, so tell us a little bit about uh, getting involved here. Now, first of all, what, this program is you kind of go over manufacturing, and what, what other things do you go over through here? Um, there's precision machining. There, we get on the milling machines and the metal lays over there. The beginning of the year, we did this big presentation for Boeing for mm -hmm. precision layout. We had to take just a little square chunk of metal and then air drill holes in it. Okay. And then we had to show that to Boeing officials, uh -huh. and if we did good, then they would sponsor us, and they're going to wow. start a class here. Well, we did good; they sponsored us. There's going to be a class starting here in the next couple months, I think. Mm -hmm. That's going to teach people how to build airplanes. So go into aerodynamics quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. So what? Um, I mean, so, so tell me a little bit about what are you learning here? What will this apply to in the future? In what fields? Well, I mean, machining, uh -huh. everything. Yeah. Like. If you use anything in your life, uh -huh. it's because a machinist made it. Yeah. Like they have that bumper sticker that says, have you fed your kid today, hug right. a farmer? Yeah. Well, if I'm gonna make one that says, have you used anything today, yeah. hug a machinist. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, we do everything. We have a kid that's building a steam engine mm -hmm. on the milling machine and the lathe. Wow. I've made tons of little parts. Uh -huh. Kids are building robots. I mean, you can build anything in this class. So what do you want to apply? I mean, your education that you're getting here now, as a high school student, what are you hoping to apply to in the future? I actually just recently took my placement test for Perry. Okay. And they have a machining program down there that's two years, and they got job placement afterwards, so uh -huh. I'm hoping that goes good. All right. Well, it sounds like you're getting a pretty good education. Do you recommend the program to other kids at your age? Oh, yeah, totally. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you, Cody. Thanks no for problem. talking to us today. No problem. All right, up here, another one of the programs, the fire training. Danny, nice to meet you, first of all. Nice to meet you. All right, thanks for talking to us. Tell us a little bit about uh, your involvement here at YB Tech and being in the fire training program. First, how did you get started doing this? Um, I got started through my uncles. They're uh -huh. both firefighters. Oh, okay. Working out in East Valley and once in Natchez. So that gave you an interest in the, in the uh, kind of learning more about it? Yeah. So how did you hear about this program out here? Um, I was signing up with my counselor, and I was uh -huh. going to do the automotive class. And it was full, so mm -hmm. my second choice was always firefighting, and I joined up, and I instantly loved it. Oh, great. So, so tell us a little bit about, I mean, what kind of, you, you learn all aspects of firefighting, whether it be buildings, and you said there's some of the stuff you're getting ready to do. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, we do several kinds of training. It's all the basics through Firefighter One. Okay. Um, we do search and rescue. We work with ladders, um, different forcible entry tools. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's more than just that. I mean, we learn how to apply for jobs mm -hmm. and real life skills. Oh, great. Yeah, so what, what's been your favorite part so far, what you've learned? Um, I've learned a lot about leadership throughout this oh. class because I'm the captain. Uh -huh. And it's applying real life skills because eventually I do want to be a firefighter. Mm -hmm. And if I want to go through the ranks, I'd like to have that leadership experience. and. Yeah. So where, where are you a high school student from? I'm from East Valley. East Valley. Is this your first year or second year here at YV Tech? This is my first year here. So you're, you'll continue next year? Um, if I can, I want to go yeah. to YVCC because I'm a senior this year. Oh, great. Okay. So hopefully I can do this next year. All right. Well, fantastic. Thanks for talking to us about the program here, and uh, you know, congratulations on in, in doing a great job here, and uh, good luck in your future. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Now we're up here in the law enforcement section at YV Tech now and uh, talking to Carlos. Nice to meet you, Carlos. Nice to meet you, too. So uh, I'm guessing this is not how you just have to come s to dress to school all the time. Uh, no, this is our defensive tactic gear. Okay. Um, we use this for um, basic strikes, punches, uh -huh. um, kicks, baton strikes, stuff like that. A little protective. You know, it's true part of your training here at YV Tech. So uh, here at the law enforcement, tell us a little bit about what you guys are learning. What, what do you do up here? Okay, so we start off the year doing traffic stops, mm -hmm. writing tickets, 
um, doing building searches, stuff like that. We move into defensive tactics, which is what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And then we do like felony stops and crime scene investigations. Oh, cool. So yeah. you learn a little bit of like the CSI stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so well, tell me a little bit about that. Like what kind of things, fingerprinting? That, uh, that kind yeah, of we do fingerprinting. We collect evidence, um, how mm -hmm. to process it, um, how to write your reports, um, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. What got you interested in doing law enforcement here at YV Tech? I actually want to make a difference in my community. Cool, might that's be, good, yeah. Yeah, might be the typical answer, but... How'd you learn about it? I mean, uh, if you're going to school and you go to school, once again, tell me where? At Sela High School. Okay, and so you're out there at Sela High School and you're thinking you want to get into law enforcement. How'd you hear about YV Tech? Uh, my school counselor, actually. Very good, very good. Yeah. So what do you hope to do in the future? Um, I hope to do or start my career at YPD and then move on to DEA. Oh, okay, very good. So you're going to walk us through maybe a little bit of what you guys learned. One of your uh, fellow students, is, uh, classmates, is going to going to show us what are you going to show us today? Um, we're going to show some punches, some kicks, and some baton strikes. Great. Okay. Well, let's go do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we're up here with Dakota, Dakota Brownfield. Yes. Nice to meet you, Dakota. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, which, so which program are you here uh, at here at YV Tech? Computer programming class. Okay, so what got you inter or inter interested in doing that? I, I was just curious and I wanted something yeah. to do, something yeah. fun. So how'd you hear about YV Tech? Uh, classmates, computer, my yeah. brother took media class actually. Oh, okay. So I was curious then too. So what, um, I guess, what, what kind of things do you work on then in your computer tech class? Uh, when I started, we worked on smaller robots, mm -hmm. like, just like that big, uh -huh. uh, programming code, putting them together, stuff like that. All right. And we moved on to DOS, and uh, we're planning on doing uh, video games, programming okay. video games with uh, DigiPen and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So, and this is kind of like something unusual in front of us down here. Uh, tell us a little bit about this. Now, this is last year's robot that you guys built? Uh, yes. The second year's last year built this uh -huh. for the FRC robot competition. Okay. And then this year you guys are working on, tell me a little bit about, we saw it earlier, but tell us a little bit about the one you're working on now. Uh, after inventorying the parts, I uh -huh. haven't seen it since. Oh, you haven't? Okay. The mechanics class just on the stairs over there okay. uh, are right. building the parts for it and everything. Yeah, so the mechanic class builds it, and then you guys are though you guys are, are getting ready with the uh, the programming. It's remote control, right? Yeah, we've even made, as you can see, designs for the thing. Oh, okay. So you, oh, wow. Using Google SketchUp. Uh huh. Uh, Okay, well, man, thank you so much for talking to us, Dakota, and talking about what you guys are working on here and, uh, and uh, just uh, giving us a lowdown on what's happening here at YV Tech. Yeah. All right, Craig, well, we've seen a lot of the school today, so, but tell us about some of the things that we didn't get to see. Well, you, you notice that it, as we went into the different programs, you notice how the kids took pride in the programs. Oh, absolutely. We couldn't, we couldn't see all the programs mm -hmm. just because the kids and the teachers want to talk and, and brag about the programs and stuff that they've done. Another thing I want to emphasize, this is free. And see, that's an amazing part. When you find out about that, that the opportunities that our kids have, because not all communities have a program like this. Uh, I know that where I grew up, there was nothing like this. Correct. There are, but there are 15 skill centers. Um, three of them are being built now, but there are 12 up and running right so now. So we're seeing it kind of be the future of education in a lot of ways? It's, there's a lot of them out there, and it's expanded over the last six, seven years. Mm -hmm. They've seen that the, the um, job market and the high demand, not, we can't, we can't fill the high demand field. So the skill centers have been asked to pick up that. So rather than just coming out of high school with an education, you're actually coming out with a marketable, uh, uh, I guess, a, a skill that you can get yeah, a job Yeah, in. they're coming out with entry level skills mm -hmm. and they're coming out with a, a semester or a year ahead mm -hmm. of the other kids in a, um, for example, the nursing program. She already got her NAC license and she's got 30 credits towards mm -hmm. her nursing degree, her RN degree. Is that what a lot of kids are, can they come here and get that entry level or the beginning and then they kind of move on to higher education? I guess that's what we, some of the kids we talked to today, that's what it seemed like it was kind of what they were, they were working towards their future goals. And what's nice is they can stop, there's, if you use the nursing and the medical fields, medical fields is the perfect example. A kid can come in here and have a NAC license, then go to work for 10, 12 bucks an hour, mm -hmm. right out of here. 
Well, at ten, twelve dollars an hour, you can pay your way through college. Mm -hmm. And say it takes them a year to get their LPN license. Well, that gives them up to twenty dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Then they go on and get their RN degree. Well, that gives them up to thirty dollars an hour. So each step of the way, they're getting paid more, and then the more education. And we're trying to make that through all of our, our programs, mm -hmm. in our manufacturing programs, in our IT programs, in our secretarial programs. So everything has a step, and every time they finish a certificate, they get pay raise or they get that next degree. Mm -hmm. Anything else we should know about YV Tech? Um, it's free. Oh, we have a summer school, great uh -huh. summer school. And so what's nice about summer school is for the younger kids. Mm -hmm. And it's a quick exploratory. It's four weeks long, 90 hours. A kid picks up a half a college or half a high school credit. Mm -hmm. And they can come in and they, if they wanted to learn about culinary arts for four weeks to get to, to see what culinary arts means. Mm -hmm. Or in IT or in nursing. It's just a real quick four week. If you want to, we'll see you when you're a junior oh, or senior. Good. Or uh -huh. maybe when you're in college. And so it's just a real quick splash of a possible career choice for them. And if people want to find out more about the programs, so uh, there's a website, I'll bet? There's a website, go to okay. YD Tech. Okay. I think it's .us. Okay. YDTech.us. Or come in, in. We have people to give tours. Our kids give tours. All right. Well, Craig, thank you so much for having us out. And your students, tell them thank you. And uh, great. Another one of the gems here in the Yakima Valley, YV Tech. And uh, once again, thank you for having us out today. Thank you. Showcase Yakima, a partnership of KYVE 47 and the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Underwritten by Treetop. And by the Yakima Herald Republic. And by Thorner, Kennedy, and Gano. And by Central Valley Bank.